So, you're thinking of moving to Billings, Montana? Today, I'm going to answer the question, where should I live in Billings? And you'll want to stick around to the end when I will share with you what Billings is known for in a five-state region. So, let's get started. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Billings, Montana and the surrounding area, then subscribe below. Tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Billings, Montana. My name is Nancy Brooke with Billings Best Real Estate and the team and I get calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Billings, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom meeting. All of the information is in the description below. Our goal is to help you make your smooth move to Billings, Montana. Like I said today, we are talking about the different hoods in Billings and what you'll find in each. Plus, we'll talk about the price ranges of housing. We're going to start with the oldest part of Billings, downtown. The downtown area includes neighborhoods north of the tracks and surrounding the central business district. The great thing about living in the downtown area is that you have a ton of great local businesses right in your backyard. Some of Billings' best restaurants, breweries, and entertainment venues are located downtown. There are also a couple of grocery stores in the vicinity. Plus, you have a variety of housing options downtown, from fancy condos to small affordable houses to historic homes. On the low end, you can find a cozy two-bedroom home in North Park for around $200,000, while a mansion in the historic district could set you back over $1 million. Next up, we'll talk about the South Side, also one of the oldest areas in Billings. The South Side has the least expensive housing in the area. In the past year, the median South Side house price was only $225,000. Now, when you compare that to the Billings median house price, that would be $140,000 higher. The South Side has mobile homes, fixer uppers, cute bungalows, 1970s split levels, and even some newer builds. The South Side has great proximity to all areas of Billings. It's near I-90, right across the tracks from downtown, and only 10 to 15 minutes to the West End shopping. South Park is in the center of the South Side and has an outdoor pool, playground, and pavilion. Next, we'll talk about the west end of Billings. As the name implies, it's located west of downtown. The borders are approximately 6th Avenue west to the east, extending all the way to Shiloh Road and beyond. Grand Avenue is the northernmost border, and on the south is King Avenue West. Now, the great thing about the west end is it is the shopping district of Billings. You'll find two malls in the west end, Rimrock Mall and Shiloh Crossing. There's also West Park Promenade, and many shopping centers, grocery stores, medical and dental clinics, hardware stores, box stores, restaurants, the list goes on and on. The West End is only a 10 to 15 minute drive to downtown or to the interstate. Housing ranges from mid-century modern to newer construction. The median house prices in the West End was around $340,000 in the past year. Billings is rapidly expanding and the West End is an area where you will find many new housing developments, particularly west of that Shiloh Road area. Next, let's talk about Northwest Billings. This area is just south of the Rim Rocks and north of Grand Avenue. Now, sometimes it's considered part of the West End, but it really is its own distinct area. Northwest Billings has a variety of home eras and styles. You can find condos, townhomes, smaller historic homes, and large newer builds. This area has little commerce unless you're including the businesses on the West End. Now, there are a number of distinct neighborhoods and subdivisions in Northwest Billings. From the tree streets to the avenues to Gregory Hills, each neighborhood has its own personality. 
the big draw of Northwest Billings is one of the great wonders of Billings, the rim rocks, which are the sandstone cliffs that surround Billings. Houses closer to the rims tend to be more expensive. And this is the priciest part of town, with houses in the past year selling for a median price of around $425,000. The next neighborhood we will talk about is Southwest Billings. This neighborhood includes two newer community developments, Josephine Crossing and Annafeld. These developments consist of newer houses, community green spaces, neighborhood playgrounds, and there are also walking trails to the nearby Yellowstone River. The neighborhoods are known for their wonderful community spirit. As an example, Josephine Crossing becomes Whoville during Christmas with decorations honoring Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. In summer, there's a concert series. Annafeld is the newer community with construction of new homes still underway. Another neighborhood in Southwest Billings is Briarwood. This area is located around an 18-hole championship golf course. The area is one of the most scenic in Billings, and there are also homes with acreage in Southwest Billings, so a variety there. Southwest Billings doesn't have many businesses or services in its footprint, but it's minutes from the interstate and a quick drive to the West End Business District. Due to the amount of new construction, prices in this part of town are also above the median in Billings at around $412,000 over the past 12 months. The final area we will cover today is Billings Heights. This area is a part of Billings, but it feels like its own small town with over 32,000 residents who live there. Located northeast of Billings, the Heights has everything you'd expect in a small community. There's a Walmart, grocery store, fast food and local restaurants, strip malls with local business, banks, health clinics. The Heights also has a lot of outdoor trails, parks, and the city's only lake, Lake Elmo. The median price for housing in the Heights was around $389,000 over the past 12 months. But the great thing is that houses in the Heights will tend to be nicer and newer for the money. So definitely an area that attracts a lot of people interested in new homes. Although there are also older homes in established neighborhoods. Thanks for watching to the end. Now for that interesting fact about Billings. Did you know that the first interstate center in downtown Billings is the tallest building in a five state region? It stands 272 feet and has 20 floors above ground. We hope you enjoyed learning about Billings and exploring the different neighborhoods where you might consider living. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe below. And remember, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom meeting using the information below. And until next time, we hope to see you around town.